Hey y'all, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Something happens. I apologize. I don't know what happened. I'm waiting for a few more people to join me. My phone just had a seizure. <laughs> I am so sorry. I hope I get a few more people to join me. I apologize for what just happened. There we go. <laughs> y'all, I don't know what happened. My phone had a seizure. <laughs> Something happened. It fell off the holder, and then the next thing I know, it was posting stuff, and my cat jumped off the counter, scared me to death. I don't know what happened. I apologize. We're back, guys. We've already got 15 people, so I'm going to start talking to you, okay? I apologize for what just happened. It just disappeared. Hey, Susan. Hey, Melissa. Somebody send me a comment and make sure that I've got comments so I can answer your questions tonight, okay? We're going to do a cup that's a little bit more tedious. And it may have some more questions than normal, so I want to do that for you guys. So somebody just say, hey, welcome, welcome. Hey, Trevor. Hey, Marlena. I got Jazz. Somebody say hey. hey. Somebody tell me something. I don't have any comments yet. I'm waiting. I got 37 people watching, but I haven't seen a hey yet. So I'm waiting on comments, and then I'm going to get going because we got enough people to get going, okay? I don't see any comments. Oh, no. Say it didn't. So. Okay. Let's see what's. It keeps pausing. All right. Somebody say something to me. Somebody say, hey. When I get a hey, I'm here. I'm going to go and get busy. This is going to be kind of a, a lengthy little tutorial. We're going to do part A and part B or part one and two. I don't have any comments yet. I'm going to assume somebody's making comments. Hey, hey. There's Ladina. She saved me. All right, I've got comments, guys, but the phone is acting an absolute fool. Hold on, I'm going to rotate you back around. Okay, I'm going to touch the phone. If I touch the phone, it's going to rotate. All right, we got comments. All right, here we go, guys. This Tumblr, the picture I posted was not my picture, okay? I kind of swiped it from Pinterest. Actually, I didn't. Somebody actually sent me this picture and wanted me to make this cup for them. Hey, Bridget. Hey, Sheila. <laughs> So I'm going to, um, we're going to make this tumbler for her. Um, it was something that she had in mind that she wanted to do. She's giving me permission to share her cup with y'all and we're going to get, get you started. We're going to show you how to tape off your cup to get going. Okay. And then we've picked out some glitters. I sent her some examples of glitters, but she wants to get as close to that pink glitter as we've got. So I've done just a tiny bit of mixing with two different colors of pink glitters to kind of get that color that she's looking for. If you notice, it kind of looks like a real pale rose gold, but a pink. So I've done just a little bit of mixing up. Okay. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Rose. I know I went to a live and it, I didn't know it was recording and the cat jumped off the counter, knocked everything off the counter is bad. But hey, LaDonna, I'm glad y'all are joining me. So today's going to be better. Been a very full day. I appreciate y'all being patient with me. We just walked in the door about five minutes ago, so we're gonna get going. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time, okay? All right, here we go. I have a, I have a 30 ounce hog tumbler, came from Stainless Steel Depot, okay? I do take the stickers off the bottom of mine because you know you're gonna sand and prep them. So I take that off because once we do glitter and epoxy, it's gonna cover that slight indention that you have when you take the sticker off. So that's just some FYI for you, okay? Hey, Amanda, welcome, welcome. Heather, April Moon, here we go, guys. I'm not sweating now. I'm about cooled off, okay? We have sanded and prepped. I've washed it. I base painted it white. Technically, I could have base painted it a light pink, but because we do have a section that is going to be white, if you looked at that picture, I could have taped this off prior and done my pink spray paint and then left the middle white. And then the rest of it in that pink spray paint so that the glitter would look a little bit better. It's still going to look good because I'm using a really good glitter. And that's the good thing about good glitters. When you use a good glitter, it's good coverage. And that's the biggest thing. The only reason you would want to paint that is if you were using a glitter that you know you're not going to get good coverage with. You kind of want to match up your colors. If you've ever watched Trevor and Freddie do a lot of their beach tumblers, they base paint their cups all the way up. So they have a tan, a white. The light blue, a little darker blue, a little darker blue, and then that dark blue at the top. And then when they put their glitter on, it's, it's just more vibrant. But for this, this is a pale pink. It's what we're going to be using. Hey, Tiffany, Christy, Amanda. 
we're going to get going. So what I have used, I was going to use some Child's and Child's products, um, but she really wanted this pale, pale pink. And honestly, the only two pale pinks I had here was a combination of three things. I've got a Recollections that came from Michael's um, Craft Store. It's a blush rose. It's kind of like this. Okay. I don't have the spotlight on. I did bring my headlight in here. Y'all know I put it on earlier because there is no shame in my game, right? But this is a super pale pink. I'm going to try not to put too much light on it, but just give y'all a little glimpse of it, okay? And then I also took just a tiny bit of Martha Stewart's Rose Quartz, which is kind of a darker color, but I used maybe a teaspoon or two to a big Dixie cup full. And I mixed it in this, and this is what I'll pour with. And you can't see it again. I'm losing everything. But it is also a light pink still. Just has a little bit more sparkle, a little bit more of that darkness that's in that cup because that other cup's not a bright pink. Okay. Y'all, this is one of them little jumper suits. Thank you, Amanda. It's one of them that's like um we used to wear, we used to call them kulaks back in the day. I don't know how many old people are on here like me, but we call them like goo uh kulaks, where you had like Capri pants built into the little top, so it's a one piece, but I'm too fat for it, so I don't go in public with it. But anyway, that's all enough we'll say about that. We're also going to be for this project, you've got your glitter, you're of course going to need your paint, you're going to need some type of washi tape. If you've never worked with washi tape, we're going to be doing that, okay? Some people are taking this um, and wrapping the whole cup with washi tape and boy i give you kudos i don't have the patience and my hands shake too bad i don't know if you can catch it every once in a while so i can shake some glitter but i can't wrap the washi tape it shakes too bad so we're going to be using washi tape um and we're also going to be using painter's tape i have a roll that's about two inches but i can't find it i think i packed it up because y'all know i'm moving but we have to, you have to have some kind of painter's tape okay so that's what we're going to do all right we are getting all right, I'm just reading everybody. We're getting okay. All right. <laughs> I just got what Trevor was saying. He said he's going to get him a shirt and says, okay now, okay. Because my husband even says I say okay too much. And I didn't realize it. I guess it's when I used to substitute teach in the elementary schools for special ed. And he always has that, okay, okay, okay. Okay, what we're going to do. <laughs> so anyway, that's my okay story. That's a quick story, but that's about what you get. So um, I have a shirt that says whoop whoop now. In case nobody knows that, but I got me a whoop whoop shirt. So, guys, what we're going to do, I'm going to get right down to business. Before we do anything, we're going to start taping this cup off. Now, I want to tell you something. On this taping the cup off, I'm going to post a picture after this is over, okay? But I'm going to post a picture of a stainless steel cup that I have painted or taped off. And I'm going to put a sticky note that says white and a sticky note that says pink. Because let's assume you want to paint this cup that way okay like i said i'm using a great glitter it's going to have good coverage i'm not worried about anything showing through if it does show through i'm going to do a double layer because i'm not sending a cup to a customer that doesn't look right and it wouldn't be something that i didn't want okay up past my bedtime all right bridget there's my sister girl got the same name i need a whoop whoop shirt and a cup all right ashley we can work on that so guys, we're going to take this cup off, but for those of you who do or who aren't following along tonight with a cup and you want to see one that's taped up, I'm going to tape up a stainless steel cup later and take a picture so you can get an idea how to tape up your cup and paint it, okay? But I'm kind of doing this all in one stroke because I wanted to make sure that we could get the first half in here good. And then tomorrow, hey Tammy, hey Jennifer, Jenny, 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 hey Kimberly, um, we're going to come back probably in the morning after this dries. And I'll do a flood coat. We're going to be doing the marbling when we do a, an epoxy coat. Okay. We're not doing the marbling tonight, but I'm going to tell you what you'll need for your marbling. And most of you are going to have it. It's basically going to be a black acrylic paint, one drop mixed in about 10 cc's, maybe 15 for this size cup of epoxy. One drop is all you need okay to do the marbling part so if you look at the white in the cup that's in the picture we're going to be doing one drop of black paint in the epoxy to get that marbling effect okay hey stephanie hey terry all right guys so we're going to get to taping i've cut my turner off so i can do it here to kind of show you all a bit a little better now i'm going to kind of scan this thing i want you to see the end of the cup is there and the top of the cup is there now behind y'all 
behind this phone is so much stuff where I've got stuff packed up, but I still have to keep it here so I can do pups until we get completely moved, okay? So it is a little close, but right here is the edge, and right there is the edge where my pinky is, okay? So you're going to get a really good idea, and I just had a decent idea. I think I'm going to pull this off here and tape in front of you guys just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I feel like you're not getting a very good view. I'm going to move these out of the way, and I'm going to set this on the table, okay? I just have a pool noodle inside, okay? Okay, there's my, okay, okay, okay. Now, this cup kind of goes at a diagonal angle, as you saw before, because in the white, it's going to be marbled with the name. So, you're going to pick a spot <clears throat> that you want to tape, and I'm actually going to start at the bottom. I don't know why. I just am. And I want to pick a spot where I want to tape off. Okay, now keep this in mind. You're going to be going across the top of the cup. Okay, if you're working with electrical tape, that's great. If you're working with painter's tape, that's great. Let me tell you a little trick about painter's tape. Painter's tape, once in a blue moon, has pulled the paint off my foot. Just being honest. And then you got to mess. Hey, Kaylee, you got to go back and kind of repaint and touch up here and do this and kind of finagle with it so my little secret with painter's tape and you don't have to do this electrical tape will sometimes leave a little sticky residue on your cup so it's kind of tit for tat you don't really know which to use little trick with painter's tape stick it to your clothes two or three times get just a little bit of the sticky off but not all of it okay and it just doesn't it sticks perfectly but it doesn't stick too much to where it's going to pull your paint off okay some people are probably going oh my god uh, this woman has absolutely lost her mind. She has no idea what she's doing, but I promise you it works. Okay, so here we go. So I need to go at a diagonal angle because I need to have my white open spot and then I'm going to have my pink. Okay, so I'm going to go just a little hair forward of half. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so my center would be that I had the whole circle covered. But I want to be just a little closer to the front edge, okay? Then we're going to bring this and get that unstuck from my table. We'll have glitter everywhere. I usually do this in my living room. I don't usually do my taping in the kitchen, but I'm going to for you guys, okay? So listen, once it's stuck down really well here, you're going to bring it in a hair, okay? Because we're going to swirl around, if you remember right. And you'll have to kind of play with this. If you find a picture that you really, really like, and that's the way you want your cup to look, you you may have to untake this two or three times. So I've got a lot of extra on the bottom of my cup, okay? With your second piece, you're doing the same thing. You're wanting to tape off this cup, and I'm going to turn it around to you guys, okay? I'm not leaving you in the dark. You can eyeball these or you can measure these however you feel best. If you measure them, use a pencil to mark with because you can kind of get that off easier than you can pen. Or you can use those, um, what else did I use the other day? I want to say it was a, oh, what do you call it? The whiteboard, a dry erase marker. It came off pretty well too, okay? Just a very pale mark if you wanted to measure at the bottom to see how far of a gap you have here versus a gap at the top. Okay, I can about eyeball these. I do a pretty good many of these. Um, and if it doesn't look right, I just lift the tape back up and I'm going to put it back down. And then we'll kind of look at it together. So this is going to be at a swirl. This one looks like it's got much more of a curve than this one does. Do y'all see that? Kind of did that on purpose because I want you to see it. So this one looks about the angle that I want. Okay, somebody's saying, haha, no words. <laughs> I don't know what it was about, but I'm going to laugh with you because it's 1030 at night. So this one has more of a curve and this one doesn't. So I want to make sure that I bring my curve into that one, okay? That's all I'm going to do if my tape wasn't stuck together at the bottom. So we're going to use our third arm. Everybody know what that is? Yeah, that's what it is. We're going to bring that over just a hair more. Okay? So that's about where I want to be. <clears throat> Now, all your excess, you can rip off at this point. I just leave it long so that I can maneuver it and play with it some, okay? I'm just going to stick it to my pool, pool noodle. Put this tape over here. That's still a little bit long because I want my hole to be able to show when I put it on. So, what I've got now is my swirl, okay? 
Now, the easy part from here on out, all I'm doing, this is going to be where my white is. This is going to be my marbling area, okay? Third arm, you like that? I'm telling you. Um, can you demo how you get your tape unsticky again? <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> Stop, Sheila. All right, so we're going to tape off everywhere that's going to be white and marble. Reason being, when we put epoxy on here, I don't want epoxy to get on this right now. I don't want any glitter to get stuck to this side right now because this side is going to be white, guys. You can add mica powder to make it kind of a creamy white before you do the marbling. I've done that before. It just gives it more of a creamy white, very soft white, um, instead of it just being this white white. You can do that too, okay? It's just another idea for you, okay? All right, hey, Sheila, hey, Sheila, hey, Jara, Dara, Sue. All right, I'm glad everybody's here. So this is the quick part. All we're going to do, no rhyme or reason, okay? We're just going to tape off everywhere, and I'm just going to do it like this. This is a little easier. It holds at the top a little better. We're going to tape off everywhere that the white's going to be, guys. Very fast process, okay? I'm going to turn it around and show you all periodically. I'm just making more lines, okay? I just want to cover my white area so I get no glitter or epoxy in that area. Your tape doesn't have to be perfect. I'll show you what the top of mine looks like so you can kind of see. So see, I'm getting crinkles up here too. The most important thing is that this is pressed down and covering the cup. And I'm going to put another layer of tape over this so nothing can get under it, okay? doesn't take long, but there is a little more to these cups than there is just doing a flat glitter. But when they are completed, they're beautiful, okay? This is kind of the way, if you got to see the American flag tutorial, it's kind of the way you would do that also, where you tape over stuff when you're working on one side versus the other. But you've got to be very exact on the flag tumblers, just being honest with you, okay? Time to look. You didn't swipe it on your girl. Oh. This isn't too bad. It's that big piece that comes from the top, but you can definitely do that. This is actually coming up. When I place it down and stick it, it's not sticking too bad, but I did want to show you that. Y'all, there's some green painter's tape out there that is amazing, but it is very sticky, and it pulled my tape off one day, and I thought I was going to cry, like literally crawl under my kitchen table and cry because I had three different colors, and then I had to go back and tape everything off to cup it, I mean, to cover it again. And eventually, I got kind of frustrated, so I just put it in a Ziploc bag with some acetone and started over, because it was just too much to try and do. Okay, so I'm about done with taping. You don't want to leave any white exposed. I've got a little bit here that's going to wind up and mess up. And then i got a little piece right here. If your house is hot, I suggest, um, suggest rubbing the tape on something, some article of clothing. Because hot tape is more sticky than cold tape, but my house is ice cold. So I would definitely suggest rubbing it on something to get it not as sticky. So all I'm doing now is going around right here on the edges, because this is where I'm going to have epoxy and glitter, making sure all this is sealed. I don't want any leakage to get up under there. I don't want any glitter to float up under there. Okay, it's just you can fix it, but it is more work in the long run. Okay, so I'm kind of looking. That's going to be my white area. So everything that is exposed right now is going to get that pink glitter. Okay? Let's see what everybody's saying. Just tuning in. What are we working on? What design are you making? So for Linda and Haley, if you look back at the top of the post where I was getting ready to go live, um, there is a picture. It's not my picture. It's a picture that a customer sent me. And she was very interested in having a cup done like that. Um, so that's what we're that's what we're doing tonight. I'm showing you how to start taping off. Okay? I'm going to check something. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm going to check a message from the lady whose cup I'm doing um, and make sure everything's good. Okay. So we're good. I was just checking to make sure she hadn't changed her mind or anything here at the last minute because that happens. Sometimes you'll look at something and say, mm -mm, I don't want it like that. And, you know, I always try to comply with my customers. So I'm going to put this back on the turner because I'm pretty good and ready. I'm going to get it cut back on real quick. I'm just making sure I got my cords. Y'all know I'm in this. Look, y'all, my kitchen has always been good, but y'all know I'm packing to move. And my kitchen has gotten so small. <laughs> the rabbit's not in here anymore. The rabbit's been packed up. To... No, I'm just kidding. The rabbit's in yonder. So we, um, we're really getting tight in here. 
So let's see what we got. Um, Sheila says it's all good and thank you. All right, guys. So this is what we got taped off. So tonight, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to apply the epoxy. We're going to apply the glitter, which this is the glitter of this customer's choice. I, I absolutely love a specific glitter from Childs and Childs and wanted to use it. But it is, it does have some chunky to it. I think it's a beautiful color. But this customer wanted that real pale pink. She wanted that more sophisticated look, which I think is great. It's great, okay? Everybody's going to be different. And, and y'all, that's what we're in business for, is to make our customers happy, okay? So, we're going to get going. So, the kind of epoxy we're going to use, you probably already know, because I want to make sure that I can come back on here tomorrow and get ready to do the next part with you guys, okay? I'm going to be using the counterculture fast set, basically because, in case you didn't know, it sets up in about an hour in my house, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. By the time we get done glittering, it's already going to be hard enough to where I could probably pull the tape with you guys, okay? That way you can see how we're going to, hey, Jasmine, welcome. Um, we're going to pull the tape while you're still on board. Then tomorrow when it's completely set up, we'll come back and we'll do the pinstriping. We're going to do the marbling. We'll do the, I'll go ahead and do a flood coat before we come back. Well, let's see. I'll do a flood coat. We're not going to pull the tape. I'm going to do a flood coat because I don't like the spray sealer. I don't know if y'all use that, and I think it's great. I started out using a spray sealer to seal my glitter in. There's something now called Quick Coat from Counterculture, which I got a sample in the mail today. I was very curious about it, and somebody, some some favorite love buddies of mine is what I call them. They sent me some, and I am, I'm actually, I'm going to try that on top of this glitter, okay? Because I really have not used it, and I heard it's fabulous, but it seals your glitter. Spray sealer sometimes can make your epoxy cloudy, so keep that in mind, okay? If you're not giving it ample time to dry between the spray and the epoxy, um, you're fine, Rachel. I'm glad you joined us. Sheila, I'm glad you're here, and Bailey, Roxy, I'm so glad you're all coming on board. It is kind of late, but I figured I wanted to get this done tonight, okay? Um, we're doing a cup just like what's in the picture that is not mine, so when you go back and look at this post, you can see kind of what we're doing. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I may be able to go ahead and use that quick coat and put on top of this, but we're not going to pull the tape tonight because I want to do the marbling tomorrow, okay? Um, so we've got our two cups. We're going to measure out some epoxy, okay? Sorry, my dog. I have a dog that has seizures, and I heard my husband holler. I thought maybe she was having a seizure, so I'm sorry I turned around on y'all. Um, she's about six or seven years old, but started having seizures about a year ago. And I said, poor thing looks like her mama in the morning when she's having them. I come through, come through the kitchen looking for coffee. That's the way I look. <laughs> All right, guys. So what we're going to do, we're pouring this epoxy up. Remember, on any kind of epoxy, no matter what brand you're using, and I'm mixing up entirely too much. Y'all know I mix too much for you guys because I want to save a little at the end. I want you to see how quickly it sets up also don't want y'all to sit and hang around and wait on me to mix anymore, okay? I'm just, I'm not just eyeballing it. I'm looking at my measurements on the cup. If y'all don't have these in equal parts, I promise you your cup is going to be sticky, okay? Hey, Miss Dana and Joanne and Juliet. I know it. I'm so glad y'all are here. Evelyn, Sheila. All right, so I'm going to put my one glove on just so I don't get so sticky. And um, we're going to mix this up in a bigger cup. It's a little bit too much to keep in one cup. Let me grab me a stick up here. I've got all my little handy dandy tools up here. Now, people are going to talk about epoxy mixing, and I try to share this on every tutorial. I know if you've been watching me a while, you get tired of me here saying the same things, and I apologize, but y'all, we have gotten a lot of new members, and a lot of our new members are newbies. A lot of our members, y'all, we've got some talented people in this group. Like, if you're not a newbie, I've seen, I, and I've seen some newbie cups that were beautiful. Like, I'm jealous, actually. But I want to share this every time I do a live because it's important. I heard a lot of people saying their cups are getting cloudy. They have a lot of micro bubbles. Um, and every epoxy is different. I've used at least seven or eight epoxies now. And I still have all of them in my house. The only one I don't keep in my house because my house is too cold is Pro Marine. It's an 
excellent, excellent epoxy, but my house is too cold for it. It doesn't like to set up in a timely fashion, <laughs> and it drives me, I'm over here blowing on it and doing whatever I can, but Primarine just doesn't like my house, but it is a beautiful finish if you can get it to work for you, okay? But um, micro bubbles on glitter cups are not going to matter that much, okay? Um, somebody saying new member, third time watching, and I love your tips. I am so glad. We're going to pull, when I say we're going to pull the tape, you're going to be very surprised. We may have to use an exacto exacto knife, or I may just go ahead and pull it tonight and then just retape over top of it when I do my epoxy float coat. I think that's what we'll do, okay? So we'll just go ahead and pull the tape tonight. You're supposed to let it set about 10 minutes with normal epoxy, 15, 20 minutes. With this, it's already going to be starting to set up by the time I'm done. So we may just go ahead and pull the tape tonight and let y'all see that, okay? Just got to be really careful that it's that it's to a point that you can. If you're using fast set, you definitely can. If you're using a different epoxy that takes five to six, seven hours to cure, you're not going to want to pull the tape in 15 minutes. Okay, just keep that in mind. Okay, and yes, I, I see a lot of comments being made about um about being made about the epoxy. A and B parts have to be exactly equal, okay? Um, somebody's struggling, Julie is struggling with micro bubbles. Now, what I was saying before I completely lost track, because y'all know I'm really not blonde. It's number 100, but anyway, um, I pretend to be blonde to help me out a little bit. But if you have micro bubbles and you're doing, <laughs> you're doing a glitter cup, they're not gonna matter a whole lot. They are gonna matter significantly on the white part of this cup. Okay, significantly. Any micro bubbles in the white part of the cup are going to show through your epoxy. It's going to make your white appear kind of hazy, cloudy, fuzzy looking. It's not going to be pretty. But on the glitter side, what we're doing tonight, we don't. Y'all know what I did? No, I didn't. I had to look at this cup twice. It was spinning. I thought, Lord, I have taped up where I'm putting my glitter. See what I'm saying? Everybody does stuff. Somebody's getting fish eyes. I was told today. I know fish eyes are usually from the oils on your hands from touching your cup without being gloved. Mixtures are a little off. Temperature, humidity is a little off. But LaDonna, who's the owner of the group, said that she actually called Krylon. She was getting a lot of fish eyes. She had switched her paint to Krylon, and it has an oil base to it, which causes a lot of fish eyes. Did not know that, so I learned something today, and I've been doing this a while, guys, okay? How do you limit the amount of micro bubbles to stir extremely slow? That's my best suggestion to you is to literally stir slow. But with fast set, there's such a quick chemical reaction. You've got about 15 minutes, which means I'm going to start epoxy in here, okay? I have a ton of micro bubbles, but heat is your best friend, okay? Heat will pop all your bubbles. Counterculture, the bubbles kind of rise to the surface on their own. And they start popping. You'll see them start popping. They almost look like a fish eye coming up. You kind of freak out for a second. But then you realize that they're popping. Um, but the micro bubbles you will see, especially on this white. I'll pay a little special attention with the heat. Constantly moving though so you don't scorch it. You can burn this epoxy. And when you smell it, you're going to know you did it. Okay? So it's not going to be a secret. Everybody in the house will know you cook in epoxy in the kitchen. So just be real careful with that. Okay? Now listen. We can we can try and stay away from this tape. I'm not going to say it's going to work, but we're we're going to try our best to stay away from the tape area, and we're just going to stick to epoxy in the white. But if it happens to get on the blue, it's no harm, no foul. It's going to be okay. Okay, so minimal. I still think this looks funny. Minimal, um, minimal epoxy, a lot of glitter. That's that's way more than I'm going to need. So I'm going to be wiping some of that off. Okay. We're doing a very small section. I'm actually going to rub some of it on my blue tape so that I can get some of it off the cup. The reason being, if you have a lot of epoxy, you're going to use a lot of glitter. Okay? Cooking epoxy is true. Anybody ever got their epoxy too hot and it's, you can smell it? Mm -hmm. I've done it many a time on alcohol ink cups. Just hoping it'll run and it doesn't. Always make sure you do your bottom. Don't forget about your bottoms unless you're somebody who does tape off the top and the bottom and you don't like to decorate that or the customer prefers that it's not decorated, that is absolutely fine, okay? But if you are doing your bottom, don't forget to decorate it while you're going, 
okay? Cindy, if you miss the beginning, you can go back into this page at the top in the search bar, and you can either type in tutorials, and there'll be a lot there. I'm not the only one who does tutorials. Um, or you can type in my name if you want to catch this one. It's Bridget Hicks Reese, and um, you can watch this tutorial over, okay? They are available for replay. I um, also needed to tell y'all, we as a group, Tumblr's Ask All You Like group, and I've talked to LaDonna and, and just wanted to make sure that people understood what I was trying to do. I have started a YouTube page under Bridget Reese, but the page are the exact same videos I'm doing here. Just people were having a hard time finding them, okay? So if you do miss one, you can go to that page. Please like and subscribe it, but everything you hear me, it's the exact same video. All I'm doing is saving it and sharing it to YouTube. We still talk about all the questions you're asking. We still, and poor people on YouTube don't have a clue what I'm talking about because they don't realize I've just copied a tutorial. But that's that's kind of what's going on with that. I just wanted you to know there are other places to find them. So they are on YouTube, okay? Um, but every time you, if you make a comment on their tag or group, <laughs> Tumblr's ask all you like. So we can get some more members, okay? All right, we're going to hit it with the heat gun just to get rid of some of the micro bubbles. Um, remember, this is where my glitter's going. I don't have to spend a lot of time on this part, guys. I always pop my bubbles that look like they're a little bit bigger. Because I don't want it to lift my glitter. I don't want an ugly glitter base. I wouldn't want it for my cup. And I sure don't want it for a customer who works hard for their money. And they're paying me to do them a cup. Okay? I just make a cup like you're making it for yourself. Love on it. You know, just. Just do it the right way. So that's about all I really need to do. There's a few tiny ones, but they're popping on their own. I don't know if you can see these, but they have risen to the top and they're popping on their own. Okay. So that is all we're going to do. I always put paper underneath my cup, especially when I'm using my good, I use it for anything y'all because glitter is expensive. It just is. So I put paper up under here to catch my glitter. Okay. Let me look at some of your questions. Rose says, thank you. She'll be checking on the YouTube page. It's the exact same one. You're going to see me with this messy pink hair and this little polka dotted thing on tonight. I'll be, I'll be forwarding it to YouTube. Okay. All right. How long does it, let's see what that says. How long is too long using a heat gun? If you start seeing your epoxy start to run, like you can see a drip mark, you need to stop or, or spin your turn. If you got one of the turners that's reversible, Spin your turner back around so it'll slow that rolling process. You don't want it hot. You want it warm, pretty good and warm if you're doing alcohol inks. But for glitter, you don't need it hot at all. Okay? Just to pop out the bubbles. All right. Let's see what we got. Your shirt's so pretty. Oh, yeah, I really shouldn't have it on. I've got glitter all over it. But that's a long story. We walked in the house five minutes before the tutorial was supposed to start. But I started 20 minutes late. So you did the math. It's all messed up. Here we go, guys. We're going to pop some glitter on here. I just want to see what this is going to look like. I'm going to do a small little line here to know whether or not I need to add just a little bit more pink. I'm going to turn it this way so you guys can see just a hair at the bottom. And then I'm coming up. I'm coming up. I promise. Y'all are getting ready to see. I'm going to come up here and go. So you can see what we got going. And it might be too much of a glare. I'll know in a minute, okay? Hey, Brittany. Hey, Mary. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That helps out the group, helps out me, helps keep me straight. And most of all, I wanted to do it for the members. Because like I said, a lot of the tutorials would just disappear. I don't know if I was doing something wrong when I was posting them, but I, I couldn't find them. So I just went ahead and did the page, and just tagged everything that we did on here to the page on YouTube. So this is um looking, I'm trying to see if y'all got a bad glare. And you do. So I'm going to put a little bit more glitter on here. Remember, I've only got 15 minutes of working time. I want to share a few things with you about glitter as we're doing this. In case you are new and you're having some problems, and I'm causing some problems right now as we speak, so I can show you how to fix them. I may have to cut the light off so you can see them a little better. Okay? But that's my goal is to show you that when, when you're doing this, you're going to run into a few issues and how to fix those when you're going. Okay? All I'm doing is getting a good base coat down. This actually turned out to be a very pretty color. I hope my friend is on here who this belongs to. Maybe she can make a comment or somebody can make a comment and think, tell me if you think this looks like a pretty pale pink. Okay. Now, 
Oh, Donna, a lot of posts get lost. <laughs> I know it. They do. 29,000 members, guys. We cannot thank you guys enough for what you do to help keep us going. We love every single question. I don't care if they, the question's been answered 16 times that day. Nobody wants to scroll back and look at those questions from just a day. You might have 300 questions a day, guys. So ask away and ask anything you really truly like to okay we're going to try and get to answers and the people in this group are amazing about helping to answer questions all right guys i'm going to show you a few things i'm going to cut a light off back here and i'm going to try and cut my spotlight on we're going to figure out the lighting issue but we're going to do it quickly okay because i want you to see something i am going to be in the dark somebody's going to say why are you in the dark but i'm going to show you why i gotta give me a second here everything's going to fall of course, y'all are going to bounce. I don't know if this is going to be better or worse. What I want to show you, and if it doesn't show up, we'll put it back the way it was. Can anybody see the shiny flat spots in this cup? I'm going to try and point them out as it comes around. Y'all got to realize, I got two right here coming. Super shiny, super flat. And that's probably going to be too much glare. Let's see if we can do it like that. I'm going to cut the lights back on, I promise. Maybe if I do it like that, you can see this. Okay. Hey, April. Whoop, whoop. All right. There are a lot of flat spots, and that lighting is ridiculous. So, we're going to cut this back on. There's going to be some shiny spots right there. I know you, oh, you can see them. See all the shiny? That means I do not have enough glitter. Or, I use too much epoxy. So, one of the two. You don't want to leave these spots shiny, because what happens when this dries, those spots are going to be shiny, and your cup's going to look like a Dalmatian. Okay, just keeping it real with you. I have done it before when I first started out. I didn't know why my spots were shiny. I thought, well, it's sparkly, it's shiny. No, it's going to be a hot mess in about six hours. Of course, this will be in an hour when this dries. But y'all put more glitter on shiny spots. Okay, if you don't put more glitter on these shiny spots, you're going to have those flat shiny spots when you go to do your flood coat. They're not going to go away. Matter of fact, sometimes they get worse. Okay, you want your glitter on your cup when you're done sprinkling glitter all over this to look like this it, won't, it needs to look dry okay so i'm going to sprinkle some more on here i'm going to wait for this to come around a little bit probably have a little bit too, too much epoxy guys just to be honest with you because you know this wouldn't have taken this little area probably would have taken three three milliliters of epoxy okay three or four because you got to realize we're doing about half the cup and this whole cup may have taken seven or ten to put glitter on it so let's see if that looks a little better okay all right tammy's asking ladonna but y'all ask as many questions as you want okay all right guys this is looking a little better i was just looking at some of our questions i see a few spots now remember i'm running out of time and I'm going to tell you how I know. My epoxy cup is right here. And the cup is starting to get warm. Okay? It's not hot yet. So I still got a little bit more time. Which means my epoxy is still sticky. I can still add glitter and it's going to stick. When this stuff gets hot, it starts to set up. It doesn't cure, of course. It takes days to cure. But um, as far as setting up, it'll be hard as a rock here in about 15-20 minutes. By the time we get done with this so i am making sure that i got all the coverage i need i said this was a great co uh, great glitter that covers well but i'm gonna be honest with you this is my personal preference this is just me talking this cup will get another coat of glitter before you see me tomorrow i don't like the coverage as great as i thought i would now remember i'm using martha stewart glitter so it was just because of the color that we were looking for i'm going to achieve some pretty glitter but it's going to take me two coats i just think this is a little thin um i like my glitter to be very standoutish i want it to just kind of pop and catch your eye but i'm not liking how thin it looks so I will be doing another coat of glitter on this cup before you see me tomorrow. But it'll be done just because I want this cup to be beautiful for my customer, okay? This will be a personal preference for you if you wanted to make another coat of glitter on a cup for a customer. But I can tell you already it's going to get Y'all, if you're using a, a great glitter, and I did a tutorial today on Glitzology, her glitter was amazing. I use Child's and Ch I use everybody's glitter. I use Geisha Glimmer. 
um, childs and childs. I've got so much of their glitter and I'm so freaking excited. But y'all, if you have a great glitter, it's going to have great coverage. And some people are like, I don't want to pay seven, eight, nine dollars for two ounces of glitter. It's worth it. Because what I'm going to do is I probably have used a dollar fifty of glitter because this, these containers would probably make me three or four cups. But I had to do two coats to get the coverage of glitter in one. So basically, I have the same amount of glitter expense in this cup that I would by buying the seven or eight or nine dollar glitter. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Not to mention customer service, not to mention friendly people, not to mention personalized service. Um, the, it, there's so many things that come into play in running a glitter business. I, there's no way you're going to catch me ever running a glitter business. But I will support every one of you, I promise. Okay? All right. This, I'm sorry, I got a big whiff. Mm. Counterculture has no smell. But when it starts setting up, I call it cooking. I don't know what it's doing, but it starts getting hard. And I just put my mouth right on top of the cup and inhaled. Never had that happen because it does not have an odor. I can typically smell this when I pour it and I'm mixing it. There's no smell. But when it starts heating up, it does change things a little bit. Doesn't stink. It doesn't give me a headache. But I put my mouth right on top of it. And it got pretty strong, guys. This cup is so hot at the bottom, you almost don't want to touch it. Okay? And I'm going to show you something in a minute. Remember how I told... Ooh, you know what I got to do? Keep talking. I got to keep talking because I got to sprinkle some on the bottom before it gets too hot. I didn't love on the bottom of my cup, y'all. It's got to be after 11. It's got to be because I don't ever forget about my bottoms. We're going to love on the bottom of this cup. I almost forgot to give it some love. Oh, I'm surprised Sheila Ortez did not get me. I got to look back up here in a minute and see if she got me because she's always the one talking about love on the bottom of your cups. Because that's, that's my little saying, but she she's finally figured me out and she usually says it before I can get to it. All right, here we go. So I got all the glitter I want on the bottom of my cup. Remember, we're only doing just a hair less than half. But you want coverage because you want when your customer turns this cup up to be just as pretty as if she's using a straw or, or not turning it up. I just want it to be beautiful. Let's see what we got. Tammy's asking if she can message. Handwritten notes. You're right, Doris. I got a beautiful note. Matter of fact, I read it to my husband and he thought it was even nice. He said, that's that's just a great customer service type thing right there. It really is. And it's not just customer service, y'all. Oh, I just sprinkled glitter on top of my epoxy. Um, they're just amazing people. You would have to know them. And I don't know them personally. I've never been to their house. We've never ate dinner together. But they are more than welcome to come to my house anytime they want to. Oh, I'm sorry about that. And a little boy. So, y'all, I sprinkled some. This is so hot, you can't touch it. So, it's cured. Or not cured. It's it's set so watch see how much epoxy i got in there I sprinkled a little bit of glitter on top of it i'm turn it sideways God almighty, that is hot all right but it's set so i'm going to show you what i do sometimes to show people and then we're going to go back with this cup so that's the epoxy the cup is hot though okay but see y'all see that that's how quick that set sets up. So if you're a newbie, please, please, please. There's Sheila. Whoop, whoop, give it some loving. If you're a newbie and you've never used fast set and you work just a hair slower, okay, please consider not using this at first until you get your speed up a little bit. Because this is what's going to happen about halfway through your glittering. Your fast set's going to set up and be rock hard, super hot, and you're not going to be able to work with it. Okay? Put this back over here. And I think what we're going to do, since we know that it's setting up, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this tape, okay? I, I have actually, what I normally do is I have molds that are sitting over here stacked up. And before I started doing live tutorials, I would pour my molds and put my little glitter and my alcohol inks in it. So I was wasting none. I do waste a little bit now. Um, but to me, it's worth it to be able to show y'all certain things. Okay, um, I just want, I want people to be comfortable when they're doing this. And y'all, when I started out, I had nobody to talk to. Nobody. I had one person that I talked to. I basically called her my daughter for years and years and years. But I think I frustrated her so bad she doesn't talk to me anymore. I don't know what it is. I really know what it is, but it's beside the point. But anyway, um, 
I just needed somebody to talk to. And I want y'all to have that. I want y'all to be able to have somebody to talk to or feed questions off of or bounce off of bounce ideas off of people okay if you can't get me through personal messenger it either means i've got those 42 grandkids here or i'm making cups um but all you got to do is send me a private message and i promise i'll get back to you okay um does the cup itself get hot also no because it's minimal epoxy the reason that gets so hot is because it's i probably had 20 cc's or 20 milliliters of epoxy in the cup okay so it does get a little warmer um, for on the cup, I probably have five or seven. So the cup does not get hot. Like I can put my hand over top. I can put my hand on the inside. It's not hot. It's just where it sits in that cup. Okay. So I'm going to turn this a little bit towards y'all. Let me get this turned so you can see what we're doing. I'm, hoping, I'm trying to see if the cup is in the picture. Okay. All right. Why wouldn't you take the top off if you're going to add more glitter later? Because I want you to see when you're really supposed to take the tape off. Okay. And I will put tape back over exactly where I am. But I want you to see if this was, if this covered in the first coat, this is about when you would take your glitter off. Okay. You want to take it off when it's not running. That set, of course, you saw is set up. So it's, it's getting to the point where it's not going to move. Okay. Um, and it will stick to your cup. Your tape will completely seal to your cup. And you're going to have a hard time getting your tape off if you don't pull it now. And um, you'll have to use an X-Acto knife. And I really don't want to do that because I don't want to scuff the cup up. Okay? All right. So I'm pulling this off really gently. I'm going to try and rotate as I'm pulling so you can see the clean lines. But I'm also trying to watch. So hold on just a second. If I don't pull it now, what I'm going to do is have a problem tomorrow. I'm going to be on here with an X-Acto knife trying to cut this off in front of y'all wishing I'd pulled it already. So what I'll do when I'm going to add more glitter is I'll go back and retape and add my more glitter. I'll do that extra step just so I can make sure y'all understand what we're doing, okay? Okay. So this is, of course, easy peasy because this is not attached to anything except very, right there on the bottom, just a little bit. Okay, but I'm not going to pull that side till I go all the way around. And you're also pulling kind of slow because you don't know truly if this is going to um, peel your paint. I did not bring my little pick pen in here, so I'm pulling very slowly. I'm a, this was another reason for leaving the little overhangs right here because you're able to pull. I don't know if you can see, but right here is the edge. I've got about a half inch of pull so that when I do get ready, I can just pull it off the pull noodle and get going. But pull slowly and this paint had been set for a while it had been drying pretty much i painted it this morning so it had been drying all day getting ready for y'all okay so there's really nothing until you get to about this next strip because on this next strip i've got some glitter and epoxy okay and then the next one's going to be your real special one i'm going to try and pull them together we're going to live on the dangerous side okay so here we go so we're going to pull this. I'm going to rotate it to y'all so you can see how clean the stripes are. But pull it slow because it feels a little sticky to me. Like it's wanting to pull on the cup and I don't want that. Okay. It's probably because I'm pulling two pieces of tape at the same time also. But pull real slow so you don't mess up your cup. Okay. All right. So I'm almost at the end. A little tiny bit of epoxy here. Don't worry about that. We can get that off, and there's no glitter there. That's the biggest thing, because we are going to be epoxy in the white part, okay? So we're pulling this off real slow at the end. I don't want to mess up the bottom of my cup, okay? All right, let me get my washi tape unstuck to everything. So, so this is what we have, guys. Got a really pretty straight line. We got our pink glitter. Now, remember, I'm going to have a pinstripe of pink on the glitter, a pinstripe of pink right on the line of the glitter in the white. That's what appears in the picture. In the white, we're going to do one drop of black acrylic paint tomorrow with epoxy. Very lightly do a super, super thin line, probably using a paintbrush like this. Some people smear it on their finger and then rub it on. Some people will paint it on and then rub it with their finger because we want to make it very light. We don't want a big black line in our cup, okay? So we're going to be doing that tomorrow. It says, can I ask a crazy off-topic question? I'm an anxious person, LOL. Just got my new torch. I have an epoxy. I have to epoxy tonight, and there's 
some spray paint fumes in here. Am I going to be okay to use a torch? Yes, ma'am. I would think so. Unless you've been painting in the kitchen and you just finished, I wouldn't be like nothing. I don't even use a torch. I don't use a torch anymore just because I use acetone a lot. Um, not because I'm worried about a fire, but I ran out of butane in the middle of a cup when I needed it the worst. And that's when I went to using a heat gun. I actually went from a torch to a hairdryer, keeping it real until I stole my husband's heat gun. <laughs> Don't tell nobody but anyway guys this is really starting to look pretty okay so keep in mind we're gonna have pinstripe on the lawn pinstripe back about a quarter of it or a quarter or an eighth of an inch onto the glitter it's gonna be a different shade of pink hadn't really decided i gotta talk to my customer i've got a pink in here but it has a little bit of a fade to it and it is a little darker pink than i think she's gonna want but then i have these pinks and these are beautiful but i need to talk to her okay um, and we'll figure out which washi tape we're going to use. And here it's going to be this white, but we are going to be using the black marbling um, with the acrylic paint. And then after we get this sealed and covered, when I come back tomorrow, I'm already going to have my second coat of glitter. You won't get to see that, but I am going to do another coat of glitter. And then we'll do her vinyl. It's kind of like a holographic pink rose gold um, name that we're going to put on it. And then we'll do our final coat, okay? Um, I'm so glad y'all joined me. I know that it's late and LaDonna, thank you so much for joining in and helping me answer questions. I love you. I love you. You know that. I mean it. Um, I'm grateful to all of y'all for participating and hanging out. Y'all, it's 11 o'clock at night. There's still 174 people on here and I think we got up to a little over 200. So I am so grateful for y'all. And remember, if I can do anything to help you, send me a message. If I'm delayed in answering you, it's not because I'm avoiding you or anything like that, okay? Just means that either the kids or we've had a catastrophe. Usually I'll let the kids paint when I'm doing this. Um, But it's late and we're not painting. But guys, I appreciate y'all. Love you. From the kitchen, guys. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.